Okay, y'all, I'm fine from Melbourne to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Let's go. I got to the airport and y'all, I was shocked by how packed it was. My advice to anyone traveling internationally these days is to get there at least three hours in advance because those lines were no joke. The security line was really long, but where you clear immigrations and put your passport into the slider actually went pretty quickly. Once I got through, I made my way to the Qantas First Class Lounge for some lunch. Although I am flying Jetstar today, I have access to this lounge because I'm a platinum frequent flyer. I checked out the new menu, which for the month of November is Neil Perry's selection of the most popular in-flight and lounge menu items from the past 25 years. But before ordering any food, y'all know I had to kick it off with a glass of Pomery. So my first dish was an entree of the salt and pepper squid, which y'all know is one of my favorites. And then I moved on to the barramundi, which also I order regularly. Then picked the duck ragu off the Neil Perry anniversary menu. And all around, it was hearty, filling, and really tasty. If you're ever in this lounge, I suggest trying it in the month of November. Everyone knows I eat a lot, so I also ordered a chicken club, which I had never tried before. And y'all, hands down, it was definitely the best chicken club I've had. After finishing the chicken club, it was time to give this stomach a rest, so I decided to take a wonder to the flight board to see what's happening with my flight. We were originally supposed to depart at 440, however, I noticed that the flight board actually said it was delayed until 530, which gave me a few more minutes to enjoy dessert. Y'all know I had to order the brookie for dessert, which is a scoop of vanilla ice cream in between two cookies, and it's definitely my favorite dessert in the lounge. While I was devouring my dessert, I noticed out of the corner of my eye the lounge attendant walking up to me, and it looked like she was about to deliver some bad news. She walked over, and I said, it's bad news, isn't it? She was like, yep. Basically, she told me that the plane was actually hit by lightning coming into Melbourne and couldn't be repaired in time for the flight. To make matters worse, she then said there were no other Qantas or Jetstar flights leaving today that she could put me on and that I'd have to come back in 24 hours for the new Jetstar flight. I had to go back through immigration and quarantine to exit and I was feeling pretty bummed about missing a whole day in Ho Chi, but y'all see part two to find out if I make it.